Hello and welcome to another Battle Foam Tutorial Thursday. Today we will go over how to use shape padding on our custom tray creator. When you are designing a new foam tray, you should notice a mustard colored border around each shape that you place on your design. The reason for this is so each shape in your design has enough distance from others. Without this space, it will leave the walls between each shape too thin and open to tearing after repeated use. The goal is to have each shape have what we call daylight or a little bit of gray around it to make sure there's enough space. Now a couple of items to note. First, as you change the height of your tray, you will notice the padding get wider. This is due to the walls needing to be thicker as the tray gets taller so the tray remains durable. Be mindful of this if you add a shape that changes your tray height its minimum requirements and look for daylight again between your shapes as your padding changes. The other note is that you can toggle the shape padding off and on with the toggle shape padding button in the bottom left. This can let you see the actual distance between each shape in real time. Now be sure to like and subscribe so you catch our other tutorials and thanks for watching. 